for our last lightning talk. We're going to go all the way to Japan. I've just looked up what time it is. Bless these guys' hearts. Um, it's well after midnight there. They've stayed up very, very late. So I want to turn it over to them and give them their full-time uh, code for Panda and its first certified tool, Comfortable Panda. Uh, this is Kazuki Takeda and Soji Kajita at Kyoto University in Japan. So gentlemen, take it away. Can you hear me well? We can hear you. You're good. Go for it. Okay. And we're seeing your slide. slides. We're good. Okay. So, hello, everyone. My name is Kazuki Takeda. Um, I'm a junior student at Kyoto University in Japan. Today, I'm going to introduce you about Code for Panda and its first certified tool, Comfortable Panda. So, first of all, what is Panda? Panda is a LMS tool that is operated at Kyoto University. It stands for People and Academy. And here's um, the screenshot of Panda. And we are not using Canvas for our LMS, so not this Panda. We are powered by 100% pure Sakai for our LMS. All right, so moving on to our main topic, pain points of Panda for us students. Back in May 2020, when the COVID-19 started to prevail in Japan, in our university, majority of classes switched from paper-based assignment submission to Panda-based assignment submission. However, there was a huge problem with checking and submitting assignments through Panda. On average, we are taking about 5 to 15 courses in each semester, and we had no way to see all the assignments available on the Panda course sites. So we had to go through every course site to keep track of due dates of assignments and quizzes one by one. And this was time taking. And therefore, I developed a browser extension to make Panda more comfortable to use for us students. Comfortable Panda is a web browser extension for improving the user experience of Panda. And this is certified by Central IT Organization at Kyoto University in compliance with Code for Panda regulation. Um, here are some of the regulations, such as um, clarification of privacy policy, development as an OSS, report bags and vulnerabilities of Panda. And next, let me describe the functionality of this life-changing browser extension. First, students can see the list as uh, students can see the color-coded course sites tabs. This is a screenshot of Panda with Comfortable Panda extension installed. Um, as you can see in this figure, course sites tabs are colored with red, yellow, and green. This color coding is based on the due date of the assignments. And second, students can see the list of all assignments and quizzes that is available on Panda. This extension also adds a menu button in the upper right hand corner. If you click on this button, you could see all the assignments and quizzes available on all course sites. So uh, students can check assignments and quizzes just by clicking onto this button and it's very easy to use. So how does this web browser extension work? Um, this extension is using the REST API that is provided in the Sakai LMS. This is a figure showing the relationship between uh, web browser and the REST API. 
So when the extension sends the post request to the API server and gets back the response from the server, the extension then creates a list of assignments and displays it to user. Um, here's the uh, user statistics of Comfortable Panda. As you can see in this graph, many students in Kyoto University are using this extension to gain user experience of Panda. And we are receiving many favorable opinions from, this, uh, from the users of this extension. And last but not least, we have recreated Comfortable Panda to work on any other Sakai LMS websites and supporting from Sakai 20. If you are at all interested in this browser extension to improve user experience of Sakai LMS, please take a look at this GitHub repository and have a try with this useful extension. Um, you can download this extension from this GitHub link. And also, I would like to develop this browser extension together with Sakai community. And thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments about this project, um, please feel free to contact us. And if you are interested in working together to develop this extension with us, please also let us know. We welcome your contributions. Um, thank you very much. This is this is wonderful. You're getting a lot of comments in the chat as well. People really like this, and it looks like the University of Virginia has already started uh, testing it out. Um, with that's fantastic. Um, thank you. So uh, it it seems to me that um, th this has been a, a a perennial challenge in Sakai that we need tools that work across multiple sites. And uh, you you have developed one that does that. This is this is really great. I'm I'm looking here whether there are questions or uh, most of them are just um, comments that say this is really great. Uh, when might it you know when might we get access to it and so forth. And the links are of course available and you will upload the slides so that the links are in that as well. Correct. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Well, Wilma. I think that we just did a record. I think we just got through all the lightning talks and we actually have a minute to spare. <laughs> yeah, everybody did great on time. So thank you all very much for being uh, succinct and um, and for sharing all this great info. And uh, hopefully the slides are uh, in the discussion area. If not, please post them or post some contact info so people can reach out to you if they want to get more information about your topic because um, I'm sure that uh, people have lots of questions. They're just sort of digesting everything, so. Um, right, so yeah, the questions are still coming in. <laughs> yep, yep, absolutely. So I just wanna remind everyone that at 11.10 in 10 minutes, we'll have a 10 minute break in between if you need to go grab a cup of coffee or something. Um, the workshops will start and we've got three different workshops to choose from the, um, Roadmap workshop with, with Josh, that's mapping Sakai's road ahead to 2025. Um, I'm doing the Powerful Pedagogy of Discussion Protocols workshop. And uh, Michael Green's going to be doing Third Time's the Charm, introducing the Trinity UI and how you can contribute. So um, the Trinity workshop is develop, developer um, targeted. The Pedagogy workshop is for faculty and instructional design folks. And the roadmap workshop is for pretty much anybody who's interested. So um, hopefully one of those uh, tracks will appeal to you and um, we'll see you back in about 10 minutes. Very good.